Hi, I'm Arthur. And I'm Andrea. And I'm Butch. What? You invited me. <laughs> and we are Heavy, Heavy Metal, Metal Beer, Beer Club. Club. Now, our buddy Butch, I know I always talked about many times uh, Bud Light, especially for a beer review, <laughs> right. really. So that's, that's Butch convinced me last night that, no, Bud Light and this concoction that he's going to show us is actually very good. So please stick around. Music. Hit it. You made me laugh. So Butch is a stand-up comic, Heck yeah. and uh, so this, this we'll have a lot of fun with this. Yeah, yeah. Drink. This is uh, we we were at a show last night is where we hooked up. Yeah, but I've been knowing Arthur for like thirty years. Oh yeah. Yeah, way back even before he was a cop. Uh, he was a mall cop. No, he's <laughs> <laughs> he, he, was, he was worse. Here. He was border patrol. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Back when he had long hair, there's a picture over there, I swear I'll pull it out. He had long hair, oh it's right over there. Alright, but so yeah, and um, I was telling him, I, I do love all the craft beers and I think the show's really cool. I've seen some of the episodes and it's really awesome how you guys are, you know, breaking down. Because everybody loves a good craft beer, right? Yeah. But on the regular, on the uh, on the day to day, right there, man. There's your go. Because <laughs> look, look at here, and, and I'm gonna make my point real quick because I know, I know there's the taste and all that groovy stuff and the essence and yada yada and the gong gong and whatnot. <laughs> when when people really are into the beer, but a lot of people just kind of like the little buzzy wuzzy thing that part of the beer. <laughs> you know that that part is part of the part, it's part of the ride. Yeah, and. Uh, if you're just trying to dig on a little bit of that, get a little buzzy when you go to the ball game. I like to have a cold beer at the ball game. I love to go to the ballpark and get a cold beer. You know, 12 bucks, whatever, you know? Yep. But I'll do it because I just want a cold beer out there in the sun, watch the game, and uh, you know, and I might even have two, but that's it, because uh, I, I ski my limit. The other reason I really like to do the Bud Light on ice, a lot of guys say, you know, oh, it's kind of watered down. It's like, yeah, that's the point, brother. Again, because my pot is so good. You know? <laughs> Ski your limit, that's all I'm saying. So this, this gear is the cotton mouth. Nice <laughs> I would be knitting a sweater right now. <laughs> some of the beers today, like someone said, some brewery was not putting the ABV on there, so you don't know how much alcohol is oh, yeah, in so it. It's so you could be drinking a 13%. Right, right, so now you've you just pounded know. several beers, and you think you're going to have a couple, and all of a sudden you're going, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that, we're that's, this. What? You don't, well, that's my, what, my point. Like, this is 4.2%. This is 4.2%? Is yeah. And we were looking at it before. Uh, her and I were just asking oh. that question right before we got here. And yeah. but, but the uh, the idea I was saying, too, is that... Um, Plus, with the new beers and all these little microbrews, the different kinds of beer give you a different kind, getting you a different kind of drunk. Oh, you know, they get yeah, you drunk yeah, one, one faster. You drink, you drink a few yeah, of these, and barrel get, aged. So, but in the in the uh, in the uh, in the tone of skiing my limit, you know what I mean? And never because I, I work at clubs and stuff, and like you know this, you've known this for all these years. You can't be that guy in the club, you know. Oh, you're you're yeah. working and whatnot, yeah. you know. So you, so you, you're putting you, on your show. And yeah, and you got you, you got to be, be in there. control. And it of what looks you're like doing. A, looks like I'm out of control. Like and everybody, everybody right now thinks I'm I'm hammered. But <laughs> when you do your stand, well, it's funny because she always gets con she always uh, gets accused of being yeah. hammered when we're doing these shows. Doing oh, Andrea's yeah. so funny. She's <laughs> drinking, and no, that that's her, folks. She's that's the way she is. It's morning right now. But like you, when you're doing your stand-up, they'll usually have a beer up there with oh, you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, I, and corona, like I said, don't you eat sometimes? Uh, yeah, I, I would drink a lot of Corona on stage because I liked that you could see through the bottle. Yeah. I, because I wanted people you to know judge. where I was on it. Well, yeah. I, I wanted people yeah. to know because I would make jokes about how oh. much I was drinking. And it would be this oh, whole fun yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So I used a clear bottle when Corona was the, was the winner there. But um, I, but beer with lime and Corona has the limes in it. And that's what I, what I loved about that taste anyway. But so, yeah, that's what I do with the Bud Light. But I'm going to show you how I make this. Again. All right. Let's, let's, uh, let's do it. Let's, let's see it. it. Let's you try this. Now As Anthony would say, let's drink this monkey. This is Heck Butch's yeah. recipe. Yeah, for the for the drink of the Bud Light. Hold on now. <laughs> I'm an nope. expert. I've actually been drinking it so long, I am Beachwood age. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. And we can even give it the plug. So you're going to be performing here in Tucson, correct? Yes, I am. I'm going to be performing over at uh, Encore in Tucson. Encore Ooh. in Tucson with Pablo Francisco. In Tucson, Arizona. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with Pablo Francisco. Awesome. I also come in and perform at Laughs Comedy Club, which is, Laughs is where I started doing Oh, comedy. yeah, well, that's I, that's where uh, we used to hang out all the yeah, time. That's there we met. Yeah, that's where we met. Yeah, that's back when I had long hair. Right, that was when he had long hair. <laughs> and now people are going to, let's clear this up. 
No, this is not Rob Zombie, folks. <laughs> this is actually, his name's Butch. Butch Moore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now here's what you gotta okay. do. You gotta take your uh, cup of ice first. You gotta get you a lime slice there. All right. Okay. Oh, this, this, this is how we ice. do it. Check it out. It gets on the ice. It gets in there. Okay. And it melts into the ice. Nope. And I got lime got juice going all over the place. A couple place. limes? Yeah, you do a couple of them. Ooh. This is the only Okay, vitamins. now I'm getting what you, you're saying here. This is the only vitamins I get right here. Because <laughs> I like a lot of lime Keeps in away my the drinks. scurvy. And the rickets. <laughs> and I, lo I love a local beer that we have that is um, I'm gonna do crooked three. tooth light. That's, 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 that's what I'm going to do. Throw it in there. Do, I really do I'm three. Open everything. They crack up at me. Three slices. There's one for everybody to have three. Because three is the number. So you're on your last set, yeah. your lime Okay, three Which, limes, folks. See, now watch this. Now what you do is you got your limes on there, you leave them on and then you just pour the beer over the limes, all real oh. slow. Oh, okay. Yeah, and if you pour it slow, then you get the no head. Chicks dig that. <laughs> chicks, chicks don't like that. Right, so. <laughs> Let's see. Let's now pour I'm, that real I'm good. sure there's some people watching that are going, what? Beer on ice and all of this? And yeah, that's the other thing, too. Is I get a lot, I get a lot of stuff out. about that. People give me shit because, oh, gosh. you know, Because you know how they, they the people who really like the craft beers, they'll yeah. dog on the blood. And be like, oh, that's like water. You know, you're drinking piss water. Yeah. And yeah, it's oh, like, yeah, I'm not guilty. Heard it a million times. Yeah, guilty. Guilty, right? So, but the thing is, is like I said, I sorry, Hyman. Like, this is looking really good right <laughs> now. A buddy of mine, Hyman, we go on, on trips all the time and we'd be drinking craft beer and he would drink the Bud Light. Bud Light. bust his balls all the time. Oh, yeah, all the time. Hyman, you're drinking I mean, water. I got but, your back, G. I got your back. But actually, yeah, by the time we were done with him, he was drinking Sierra Nevadas. Right, and, right. Uh, what else? I mean, we got him into oh, IPAs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 it took a while. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. So well, well, and so we here's got the thing. Now you got to check this out, Arthur. Okay. Now. Okay. So now you got to give it a taste now. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. So we're not going to be line. we're not going to be doing the smell. The uh -uh. yeah, uh, doesn't smell Ooh, like anything. It, it smells no, actually, good. It's, it's uh, good. Yeah, yeah. It smells like you're on vacation. And that tastes like some time. Come on. Man. That tastes good. It tastes like a cocktail. It's awesome, like a cocktail. It tastes like summertime, man. You know what? It's like a cocktail. And I'll, I'll confess, because I'm more the beer snob here. I'm the one who really likes mm -hmm. the harsh tasting. I right, right. Strong. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. very refreshing. Yeah, but this this is refreshing. It is. It's refreshing. It's refreshing. I'll drink this on the beach. Yes, okay. it's a freaking day at the beach, baby. Right there. I like it. It's a whole nother thing. It's not like you're drinking a beer like we're used to, but it's definitely is like drinking yeah. a cocktail. Okay, Butch, Butch Lords make me eat my words. I win. And I see. Ah. And I was I was all prepared to dog on you right? and dog on the beer, but you know what? It's, it's good. And I see I'm uh, see that big I enough mean, man I got to, you back. Yeah, <laughs> <I apologize. laughs> to it. Yeah, here we go to to Bud Light. Plus they sponsored my radio show. So. Oh, there we Cheers go. And that's not the Bud reason Light. why I was I was kind on this, not because of his sponsor. Because <laughs> I don't have a sponsor anymore. I don't yeah. have a radio show anymore. <laughs> so I could have I I could have just continued. But if someone would like to sponsor any one of us with Bud Light or whatnot, right? <laughs> we're here. <laughs> I'm doing my show from his living room now. And what's cool? I is... sleep on the couch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And, and Butch is also a metalhead like we are. Yes. I was just at Slipknot the other night. You guys, they, they watch the Slipknot show yeah. on the on the pay-per-view at their home. In the yeah, from the Los Angeles. Oh, yeah, and they watched the Los Angeles show, but I was at the Phoenix show where they caught it on fire. Yeah. And they got, <laughs> they <came and bought. laughs> Dude, I was so baked, I was walking in that room. Because I was like, uh, I had some psychedelics that day. Surprise. And uh, it's not recommended, kids. Uh, <laughs> And so, oh, but the, the intro music, I'm gonna use one of Butch's songs. Oh, yeah. So, that, the music that you're hearing, that's Butch Lords. Yeah. Hell yeah. You made me late. <laughs> and so, what's the You made me late? Is that the name so, of it? Yeah. That's the song, You Made Me Late. You made and me late? Whoa. Yeah, Is that dude. directed towards anyone in particular? Oh, lots of everybody's in particular. <laughs> you made me late. Yeah. So, <laughs> funny thing is, so, so funny thing is, uh, um, Duff McKagan from Guns N' Roses. Uh -huh. He, the guy, he's a columnist also. He writes uh, sports columns. And so I was reading his book. I've read both his books and they're great. And somebody asked him, where do you have time? You've got all your bands. You uh, write these columns. Where do you find time to do that? And I said, you know that time when you're waiting for your significant other to finish getting ready so you can leave <laughs> to do whatever? That's, that's what I write when I write. <laughs> yeah. So let me tell you, that's when I read. I've got books underneath 
our coffee table. Could take a nap. And so I'm waiting for her, hey. and I'm reading these books. Hell yeah. And you know what? Uh, during during the whole he is the thing, most well-read man in the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you right now. Bro so dude. during during the pandemic. I wasn't really getting much reading done because we weren't going anywhere. I have books that I still haven't read, and it's been like 10 years. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're the patience. one getting ready. Yeah. Yeah. She's That's got, right. She's the one getting ready. I'm getting ready. She's, well, the, the ADHD, which I know somebody else is guilty of. Right here. Oh, the macaroni. <laughs> there was a place called ADHD. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be the king there. <laughs> We'd be renting the club, right? <laughs> yeah. So, do you guys when you, during the episodes of Heavy Metal Beer Club? Do you do you pair the beers with a metal song too? You know what we no, in the past that's sometimes. A good that's idea. a great idea. Yeah. You know what? We'll start start today. We'll pair starts the beer. today. We're, start today. You're made me late. <laughs> okay, I'm beers. sorry. You made me late. This is what you made me late. No, dude. no, that's no. Great. You, you, made, you made, me made me late. Rock. And as much as I'll concede and say, okay, this is pretty good, I would say air supply. <laughs> oh, Dude, man. everybody loves a good air supply. And I do. I do. Yeah. Oh, there's some great air supply songs. But again, again, you could kind of sip it. Can't we at least do that song? I'm gonna keep on. <laughs> little Ario Speedway. Little Ario, at least it's somewhat no, I, I played a show with Ario Speedway. Did you really? Yeah, dude, like in like, it was like in um, 2003. And it was in Kansas, and there was this huge festival, a weekend of all 70s bands. And it was like, oh, uh, it's called the Wheatland Jam. And it, my friend's uh, brother, uh, the promoter and producer of it, and so I came down there and played a show at it, and on the shirts it had all the bands on it. And it was like Loverboy, you know, uh, Foreigner, Art of Speedwagon, Three Dog Night, all these, just Oh, every, those and, are good ones. You know, it, was, it, was, it was seven or eight bands a day. Oh, names that you would recognize, wow. right? Bog Hat, all these bands. And then the last thing it said, and, uh, uh and VIP ticket holder is only Butch Lord. And I was like, so I was on the shirt with our oh, ASB. Like, oh, oh, that was cool. Like, my, that was a year of my 20-year reunion. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That's fun. fun. To like go to your, your, go to your class and say, what were you doing? Ah, you know, I was yeah, on show with our ASB. I was on my tour. Like, uh, <laughs> tour. They opened for me. <laughs> <laughs> you have to like and subscribe. You know what? That's what you have to do. To get on this, like and subscribe. Yeah. You definitely get the back stuff if you subscribe, I think. So, yeah. If you know. subscribe, no, you hear that dirt. He goes, stop making, stop making commitments for me right now. <laughs> He was like, you just made a digital commitment. You almost punched me. <laughs> okay, so since we didn't do the tasty meter with Butch, and Butch isn't here, so what would you say on the tasty meter? I would give it a 1.2 for the Bud Light cocktail. And I would go with... I'll go with the 1. Sorry, Butch. It is good, and uh, it's refreshing, no doubt about it that. It is refreshing. Nice summer day. But for craft beer drinkers, it's like, mm, it's still drinking a Bud Light, but it is good with all that lime butch for a, a, a hot day. So. <laughs> so there we go. But it was a lot of fun. And thank you so much for joining us here at Heavy Metal Beer Club. Please drink responsibly, stay safe, and don't forget to stay, stay metal. metal. So... So battle, battle, wait, 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 metal, what is it called? Yeah. I smoked a lot of pot, one more time. Heavy metal beer club. Oh, it's right there on the thing. Yeah. Heavy metal beer club. <laughs> this is the fun <laughs> battle. This is yeah. after this is hours, folks. <laughs> yeah. This right. is the real us. I hate making yeah. this show. Heavy metal beer club after hours. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this will be the B-roll fun stuff. Yeah, you gotta have a ticket. You gotta have a ticket to get in this one.